Alright, this is a new Steam beta. I only have Fraps, which, as you mostly know, only records games mainly, so I'm kind of using a crappy handheld, but you get the general idea. Now, basically, there's a lot of things changed with the games section. For one, you'll notice some massive information and details. One thing they really focused on was the friends who also own the game. There's also different options, this one's probably the more traditional one. Only thing different about that is the icons. Then there's the grid, the people who just want to look at the pretty pictures. There's the news. And once again it's all changed into different sections. I'm not sure there's anything different with the community, I mean, it's pretty much the same controls. Oh, with the store they do have tabs now, like demos, videos, featured items, you can sort by genre now. So it's basically a lot more sleeker. Basically it's still fairly recognisable. However, once we get into the in-game panel. Now being the beta, it's still fairly buggy, but I'm pretty happy with how it's going so far. Alrighty, so the in-game shift tab. One thing that really what well, I really like is the clock. As you'll notice there. There's also the achievements, the news. Uh, yeah, that's kind of buggy there. It should have their names next to it, but oh well. There's also the friends tab and the players, which is relatively the same thing, just organized differently. And that's basically it. Yeah, the in game web browser is still there, the settings are still there. And that's about it. Alright, one thing I forgot to mention before was the new downloads tab in the games layer. You just go to that one there and it's got how much you've downloaded, your games that you are still to download, basically how much you've got left to go. Basically, it's just making everything more handy. And it's basically, yeah, the game's tab as well. And that's it.